single leg squat to tap. Um, so I'm just using a regular aerobic step with six risers under it. You can also use um, a standard height. weightlifting bench is fine. Really what we're trying to get is um, that your thigh is about parallel to the floor when you're at the bottom. You're going to stand about six inches out in front of the step, sit back with your hips and keep your chest up. So I don't want you rounded over as you come down. I want all that movement from your hips, just getting a really nice hip hinge there. Also make sure you look in the mirror to ensure that as you come down, your knee is pointing straight ahead. Don't let it fall in so that the kneecap points inward of your big toe. Keep it pointing straight ahead over your middle toe or your second. So this is a medicine ball push up to stabilize. I really like it because I think it's great for your shoulders and your core stabilizers. Um, I know you don't want to spend too much time on your belly swimming around in the crease, but uh, if you do, I think this one's a great one to sort of help you still be effective and get back to your feet quickly. So I'm going to have one hand on the medicine ball. I'm going to do a push up and I'm going to come up and balance at the top. So I want to keep my shoulders and my hips level. I don't want to tilt when I come up. Let me show you from this angle. It's a med ball push up to stabilize. The contra stiff legged deadlift and row you can do with either a cable or a bungee. But the key is to pivot at the hips. So holding the bungee in the right hand, standing on the left leg. And then as you come up by squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings on the left side, you're going to row in, squeezing the shoulder blade down and back. So not letting that shoulder shrug up, keeping it down and back. I'm going to do my pop-ups. So from my knees popping right up to my feet. I have to use my arms so much because I pretty much suck at this. Um, so try not to use your arms as much as I do. I look crazy when I do it. Single leg hop and stick is an awesome exercise, not just because it develops leg power, but it also requires um, dynamic stabilization. So what I would suggest when you start off is to do two hops and then a stick. So this is two hop and stick. So one, two, stick without wiggling around like I did. Not only is a single leg hop a great way to um, develop single leg power, which is important for your crease movements, for being explosive in the, in the crease, but it's also a great way to work on your dynamic stabilization because you have to find a way to get that perfect point of balance very, very quickly after you've been moving. So we're just gonna do, um, to start with, until you get your balance, you're just going to do a hop and stick. So find that balance. Don't wiggle around or minimize it. Make sure you're balanced before you go for your next hop. And to start with, you can start with just a small hop and then I'm trying to hop as high as I can and come down again with that good knee alignment. If you watch, my knee sometimes wants to wiggle in so I have to really focus on keeping that good alignment. Then once you get that, start to link these together, make them a little bit more plyometric. So hop, 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 but still keeping that good knee alignment. So I'm trying to link them. I'm trying to get off the ground as quickly as I can, but up in the air as high as I can without pausing in between, but without losing my good alignment. So if every time you come down, that knee's falling in or you're really losing your balance, then go back just to hop and pause. Or you can always go to hop, hop, stick, which is sort of an intermediate version. So it would be hop, hop, stick, hop, hop. When you do the staggered stance cable lift, both front and back knees are bent. The foot furthest from the cable is forward. You're going to pull straight through to shoulder height. So like I'm throwing an elbow and then I'm going to push up almost straight out from my nose. My torso stays square and stable. It's a pull, my elbows up, and a push. And I don't want any rotation. Those ones never get really heavy. Um, the key is to stay nice and stable. Keep both those knees bent.